Hi guys, Chantelle here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys kind of seven areas you can declutter right now that will not take you much time. So you might have been watching decluttering videos and thinking you really want to get into decluttering, you want to have less stuff in your home, you want to simplify your life, but you don't have the big time commitment that it takes to do massive overhauls like a Conmarie does. So maybe to ease yourself into it, you're looking for smaller areas to clutter or things that won't take a lot of time but can make a big impact and make your days simpler. This is especially key if you are a parent because you might be working with really limited time on your hands where you can actually get into decluttering. So here are seven areas that I suggest you can tackle even if you only have a few minutes on your hands but the difference can be big for your lives. It just makes your day a little bit hassle free. So this is the number one place for all mums to declutter I think and it's not just a declutter, it's a good clean out. So your handbag and your purse or in some cases your changing bag, depending on how old your kids are. It's one of those places that we dump a lot of stuff, whether it's tissues and receipts and wrappers and toys and random socks. You will always be surprised by the stuff you find in your handbag or your changing bag. It's the item that probably gets used the most on a day-to-day -day basis if you are a mum or a dad but specifically a mum, if you are a mum, it is probably the item that comes with you everywhere. I have mine sitting right here. This is my current changing bag. I alternate between two, depending on how much stuff I need to take out with me on a day. And this bag comes everywhere with me and the amount of stuff I keep in it is ridiculous. So all you need to do is empty it all out, take every last scrap out of there, Give it a clean. If it needs a clean, which it might well do, give it a clean. Either just give it a good shake out, put it through the wash if it needs it, or get the hoover in there. I have been known to hoover biscuit crumbs out of the bottom of my bag. It makes the world a difference. Take it all out, get rid of all of the rubbish. So all of those wrappers and receipts and tissues, anything that is rubbish, get out of the bag, put it in the bin, and then only pack your bag with kind of day-to-day -day essentials that you need. Anything extra that you happen to need on that day, you can put in in the morning. Don't be carting it around just because. This goes for your purse as well. I am really bad for stashing stuff in my purse. So receipts and labels and gift vouchers. And when you get given those little vouchers in shops, like 5% off your next purchase, put them in the purse and then forget they ever existed. So empty your whole purse out, get rid of all that paper clutter, any little bits that are in there. To be honest, you don't even need to keep all that change in there. Great saving tip is to let the kids have all those coppers and five pence and ten pence and put them in a savings jar. At the end of each week, just let them take any of that loose change out. I keep the pound coins and the 50 pences usually purely for parking meters, nothing else. Once you've cleared it out, try to get rid of any cards that you don't really need. So any loyalty cards for places you don't really go to, just get rid of it. You're not missing out on anything. Number two is junk mail and paper clutter. I am definitely not suggesting you start looking for all of those piles of papers you've probably stashed in a box file somewhere. That's gonna take time. For today, we are just looking at things that are gonna take a few minutes. So do a quick skirt around. There's probably a specific place you put paper clutter and junk mail. That's completely normal. There's a small pile of it next to our front door. Always is. Grab all those, grab any other bits you can find around the house, anywhere you've piled takeaway menus and free magazines and bump leaflets that's come through the door. Find them all, bring them to your kitchen or dining room table and go through it really quickly. You don't need any of those takeaway menus. You can get it all online usually. Quite on my, just eat. I'm a big fan of just eat. Definitely use that if you can. You can do all your ordering online, sort it, get it delivered or go collect it if it has to be collected. Plus, ooh, look at this, another little savings tip, go me. Um, there's a site called Kidstart, I'll pop a link in the box below. 
that when you order through Just Eat, a percentage of your Just Eat comes back in a cash back that goes straight into your kids' savings account. Genius. I hate to admit that the majority of Allian's savings account through, uh, through the Kids Start has come from Just Eat. It's not good. <laughs> but it's an extra little bit. Back to where I was before. You don't need all those takeaway menus. You don't need leaflets telling you about double glazing or about the latest counsellor that needs voting for. Is it just us that gets a lot of mail like that? And then check all the other mail, bank statements and credit card bills and phone bills. If you need it, then find a designated place to put it in a box file or in one of those, what are they called, the ones like the concertina files. Get one of those if you need to and put it up there. Or even better, go paperless. We have gone paperless with so many of our bills now, we don't get any paper bills from those. Anything else, either shred it, burn it, recycle it, put it in the bin. Whichever is the safest option when it comes to like data protection. Okay guys, I think everyone is guilty of the junk drawer. Junk drawer, junk box, junk shelf, however you put it. I think everyone's guilty of having one somewhere. Yeah, I've just done ours. If you haven't seen my dining room declutter, which I will pop up here, that is where my junk drawer was and it is now beautifully, it's, up, it's practically empty, it's amazing. So go check that out guys. But find your junk drawer or wherever you ditch all those random little bits. Empty it out, be ruthless, do you really need that stuff? If not, just get rid of it, either in a bin or the recycling if it's something that can be recycled. Just get it out of your house, get it out of your life. It'll make trying to find those useful, but without a home items that you have to keep in a junk drawer, like keys for your window locks. It'll make finding those things so much easier when you do actually need them. Next one up is something that I think people do not do often enough, which is to clear out your fridge and your freezer and kind of like your tinned goods and stuff. Look to see what is what is out of date, what really just shouldn't be cooked or eaten any time in the future, and what stuff you're not gonna use, guys. There's always stuff that um, maybe you've used half a packet of something and the likelihood is you're not gonna use the rest of it, or you've been given something and you've put it away. Just like general foods that just aren't gonna be eaten. Again, be ruthless with it if you can. If it is out of date and unedible, then just get rid of it. If it is something that is still edible, still in a packaging maybe, either look for a kind of like um, a homeless shelter or a food bank which can take it off your hands or see if any of your family need it. My mum and my sister and my in-laws actually quite often take food off our hands if it's something that they will use and we won't. So just try and make use of it if it is a food that is edible still. Um, obviously, if none of those options are available, then sadly you are just gonna have to bin it. Or you could try intentionally using it up. So you find a jar of something in your cupboard that hasn't been used and it's just sitting there. Make a conscious effort to plan a meal specifically around that product to use it up. I've quite often done that when I've had food in the degustor boxes um, and it's something that I would never normally use and it's been sitting in my cupboard for about two months and I think, right, okay, that item is gonna be used this week. I'm gonna make an effort. I'm gonna specifically look for a recipe to use it up. You will honestly be amazed by how much you find that is possibly gone out of date, um, especially when it comes to things like condiments or sauces or actually your like herbs and spices. I mean, a lot of them don't really go out of date, but do be careful with some of them or things like mustard powder and soy sauce and Worcestershire sauce. Just be careful with things like that really to see what kind of dates are on them. The next one is your toiletries and for mums, your makeup. 
I found this was actually a really easy one to do a deep declutter on. Um, I did the Con Marie on that, which is over on my other channel. I will pop a link in the box by here for you guys to see. Um, I found it was easy and it is actually relatively quick to do. Simply get all the products together. Usually that, you know, all your toiletries are usually in your bathroom. They might, you know, you might have some stashed in your bedroom as well, but usually they're all in your bathroom. Just pull it all out and get rid of anything that is almost empty unless you can use it up this week. If there's like a little tiny bit left in it, just use it, use it tomorrow when you have a shower. Use that one item, get rid of it. Um, but use anything that's almost empty, anything that is empty that you've like been trying to squeeze the last out of, just give up guys, get rid of it. And anything that you don't really like, if you've been gifted an item at Christmas or for your birthday and because you've been gifted it, you feel like you should keep it, don't. Just don't. It's just taking up space, especially if you're never going to use it. So either, this might be controversial, either re-gift it if you can. I do try to keep gift set stuff boxed up if I don't think I'm likely to use it and re-gift it. Or again, donate it to something like a shelter or a women's refuge or just a charity shop. Quite often charity shops will take stuff if it's still sealed. So just get it out of your house if you're not gonna use it. So just go through everything. And the same goes with your makeup. Just pull it all out. If there's anything you really don't use, you don't particularly like the color of you on anymore, even if it was something that technically cost a lot of money, again, if you're not using it, it's just sitting there and it's a waste. Just get rid of it. You'd be amazed by how much space you can make just by making the small changes and getting rid of all this fiddly little stuff. Next one is your car. Again, this seems to be a dumping ground if you have kids. My car was so much cleaner before I had a child. Now I seem to accumulate stuff in my car. So it's really, really simple. It isn't something that needs to take a lot of time. Just pull out everything from your car, anything that's in your back seats, in your footwells, in your boot, in your glove box, in those little pockets down the sides of the doors, pull it all out, get rid of any junk, take anything in your house that needs to be taken in, just sort it out, and then only put stuff back in your car that really needs to be in your car. If it doesn't need to be in your car, then don't put it back in. Just take it all out, get rid of all the rubbish. You'll, you'll feel so much better. If you've got the time, then get the hoover in there. Give it all a quick hoover. It doesn't take long. Hoover the boot out and hoover the footwells and underneath kids' child seats. Those places are terrible for attracting crumbs. So get under the child's car seat, pull it all out, give it a good hoover, and then be done with it. If you're really feeling special, take your car to be valeted. Yeah, once you've cleaned out all the crap, Take it to have it valid, have it washed on the outside, have it cleaned on the inside if you can't be bothered to clean it yourself. It's just, it saves, it saves you so much time really and it makes your car just look nice. If you've got the time to do it yourself and you wanna save the money, then great. But sometimes you just don't. You just don't. And to make your life easier as a parent, just pay somebody else to do it, okay? Okay, so the last thing might take a little bit longer than five minutes. I'm sorry. It depends on how many kids you have and how much stuff they have. Um, but I would suggest possibly just doing smaller sections at a time if you don't have time to do the big section. So what am I talking about? Toys. Oh, toys. Again, I did the big, the big de toy declutter this last week. I think I did it last week. I'll pop it in the box by here for you guys to see. It was, there was a lot of stuff and it took me about an hour and a half to do, but I feel so much better since it's done. And he's been really good at putting stuff back where it came from. So it's kind of not getting chaotic again, which I love. So if you have a little one, try and set some time aside, either when they are out of the house or when they're in bed, because it is a lot easier to try to declutter their toys when they aren't around, honestly. Because um, once you start pulling stuff out, they want to play with it, even if they've not even looked at it in six months. So if you have the time to pull everything out, or they don't have a lot of stuff which allows you to pull everything out, um, get it all out, get rid of any toys that are broken or damaged, um, or that 
they don't like playing with, they never really play with, just get rid of them. Either in a bin if they're broken, recycled if possible, or to a charity shop, or sell them online if you can, if you've got the time and the energy to do it. If they have younger siblings or you plan on having another child in the future, then take all the items out that you want to keep and pass on to another child and put those somewhere into storage, either in your attic or somewhere that you can store them in your home. And then kind of just organize whatever's left over. If you have an older child, I actually suggest trying to do it with them. Uh, teach them that they can pass stuff on to other children to play with once they're finished with it. Um, give them the idea that maybe that they could earn money from selling it on. Take them to a car boot sale with you. When I did car boot sales a number of years ago, I saw a lot of kids um, selling on their old toys and like the parents trying to encourage them to learn to part with stuff and understand the concept of money. So them selling on their toys, they get to keep the money from that and then they get to buy a new toy that they want. It's a good way for children to start to understand the concept of money and the value of money and how much money it takes to buy things. So if you do have an older kid, I do suggest you try to get them involved with it because it can really help. Yes, you're gonna get some resistance in some cases, but when they start to understand that if there's no space to play, they can't play with stuff and um, they can't have more stuff if there's no space to keep it, they will learn to let go of stuff and quite often in cases they will only ask for stuff that they really really want or they will purchase stuff with their own money that they will play with for longer because they know that they've bought it, it's their money, they've earned it. Does that make sense? So yeah, that's what I do with toys. So that's it guys, that is seven areas for you to declutter right now that won't take you hours but will make a big difference on your space and on simplifying your life and your home. I would love it if you gave this a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe and join our Life Sorted community and please leave me a comment if you have any areas of your house that you are so terrified about decluttering and just the thought of it is too much. Please also go check out my other decluttering videos. I will pop them all in a box down here. There is a playlist on my channel full of declutters where I kind of show you guys through each of the rooms I've decluttered and each of the areas. Technically, I am finished decluttering my house in the big sense of the word finished. Um, but I, there will always be stuff that I need to keep getting rid of when it comes to your foods and your paper junk. Sadly, those are stuff that always come into your house. You can't help that. Anyway, before I start rambling, guys, I will see you guys again soon. Bye.